Alright, so I'm going to show you what I've been working on today for Fun Friday. Um, this is for my faculty members, and you can share it out as you feel necessary. I'm pretty sure other people might want to use this. I found a new site um, called Sploder, which allows you to make sort of lower level games. Uh, games are really engaging tools, and you can, you know, also uh, personalize some of these games. But just to give your students an outlet um, and to make something a little fun in your course, you can actually build one of these small games and stick it into the widgets in your Desire to Learn course. Once you get an account and it's free to sign up for, you click Make a Game. And there's several different types of games that you can make. You can make shooter games, you can make puzzle games. Um, the quickest game to uh, build, I've, I've built a physics puzzle game and um, this is what the environment looks like. I'm going to skip the tour. You guys can take this on your own. Um, basically it's a drag and drop deal. Um, I have managed to uh, create a little world for my um, people and this is a little player that I drag in there and I've given uh, a little bit of physics so this guy can jump and when I was done, I did save or save as to name it. You can also test it before you play it. And then publish will allow you to publish it. Once it's published, it goes into your gaming section. So I'm going to click on my games and show you um, what I created. Uh, this is my goofy test. When I click on it, it's going to allow me to go in here and play the game. I can share it out via any of my social networks. Um, but I can also get the embed code. If I click get code and I copy all of this, now I can go back to my course. Um, I'm going to go into Cat's test course. And as you can see, I've already put this in here as a widget, but I want to show you how the widget's made. So I'm going to click edit just so that you can see it. If you go to the HTML and the content, that's where you paste this code at click update and then save. When you go to your edit course and you go to your home pages, you'll have to make a custom home page. I've made a new home page called Sploder Games. Um, when you make your game or your um, custom page, what you'll do is you'll place the widget with the game in it where you want it to be. So I put mine in the center panel and all I did was say add widget after I've made that widget. Um, there's another more comprehensive how to make a widget uh, lesson available in our CED pages uh, and always you can contact me for that. Um, so this is an advanced level. You should already know how to make a widget and add it to your home page. So let's go back to our course home so you can actually see how the game works. Click to play. Using my arrows I can bounce up and catch my coins, bounce over, uh oh, let's get over here, we don't want to hit the spikes, I got an extra life, and um, I didn't really do much for this game, it was just for uh, purposes of showing you, now I've got an extra life so I still win, right, because I'm still there. Anyway, it's lots of fun. Um, I would imagine that this is a great way for you to start into the idea of games or gamification. I uh, hope you have lots of fun with it.